as you can see on the left side with tow haul mode on, the shifts last just a little bit longer. What is going on today guys? My name's Alex and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the tow haul mode button on this Ram 1500, what exactly it does and how it will affect that truck when you are towing a trailer. First of all, obviously, this is my truck and my trailer, and we have about uh, 2,500 pounds in total here, basically empty. I got a couch in there that I got to dump off at the dump. So I figured I'd make a little video um, about the tow haul button on this truck because it intrigued me. So I'm thinking it's probably intriguing a bunch of you guys to what exactly it does to make this thing tow better. So the first thing, and I think the most important thing that this uh, tow haul mode does to this truck is it affects the transmission specifically it affects the transmissions shift patterns so when you are accelerating and and even decelerating it's going to hold your gears longer now what i mean by that is it's going to hold you in a lower gear longer to pump those rpms up higher to give you more torque when you are pulling a trailer because that's what you need now the second thing that the tow haul mode is going to affect on the transmission is the overdrive settings. Um, I have the eight speed transmission, meaning that your seventh and eighth gear are technically overdrive gears. And now quickly what that means is basically the wheels are turning faster than what the engine is turning. Um, one to one is sixth gear and all below that is underdrive gears, if you will. And what it's gonna do is really try and limit the truck from going into overdrive. For the most part, you're going to be one to one, which is in sixth gear. Um, I have had the truck pop into seventh gear, which is an overdrive gear in tow haul mode when I'm like going downhill or um, I got some wind behind me and so forth. Um, so it will go into overdrive just very rarely. I have never seen this truck well in tow haul mode going to eighth gear. So there you go. Another big change when you are in tow haul mode is the multi-cylinder displacement um, will not be activated uh, basically meaning that the truck is going to stay in an eight cylinder mode the whole time tow haul mode is active which makes sense you're gonna you want the most torque to you at all times when you are towing something heavy um, now there is more to that than just meets the eye what's important to remember about this is when you are going downhill um, so having your um, multi-cylinder displacement system not active means that the truck is always going to be in eight cylinders like we just said. Um, so when you're going downhill, there's going to be eight cylinders working constantly. Whereas if the multi-cylinder displacement was on, the truck would automatically go into four cylinder mode because you're going downhill. It's going to save fuel. Now, what does that do? That increases your engine braking. So when you're towing something heavy and you're going downhill and that trailer is pushing your truck down, you want as much engine braking as you can get. So that is really important to remember um, when you're in tow haul mode, your engine braking is going to be increased. Now, anyway, so that information is all great. A quick Google search will show you all of that. What we're going to do today is we're going to see if we can actually get this truck to perform differently in tow haul mode versus not in tow haul mode. Um, like I said, I don't have that much load in here. It's probably about 2,500 pounds in total, but it should be enough um, to show some slight differences on how the truck reacts when we're driving in tow haul mode versus not in tow haul mode. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare the transmission shift times and does it actually hold gears um, like it says it does. Um, now, where I've parked specifically, there is a hill once we turn off on the road um, so I'm going to accelerate about half throttle all the way up the hill until I get 100 kilometers an hour. A couple of you guys are probably wondering, why don't I just go full send, pedal to the metal, and just let this thing shift? Well, that wouldn't really make a difference at all in the shifting because what's going to happen is this truck's going to go all the way up to 6,000 RPM or whatever the red line is um, with and without tow haul mode. So what we want to see is that like half throttle how much longer the gears are going to be held um, in tow haul mode. So as much as I'd love to go full send, 
we're just gonna go half throttle and see how these shifting patterns change. Now we will turn the tow haul mode on. So as we climb this hill in tow haul mode, uh, you can watch the truck work. And we are normally shifting between three and 4,000 RPM, which would indicate a nice half throttle position, which is kind of where we want to be. So here's my run with the tow haul button off. Um, hopefully you guys can see that the gears are shifting much quicker. Oh yeah. Um, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put these two clips side by side and we're gonna compare uh, the shift times. Wow. All right, here's these two clips compared. I started at 20 kilometers an hour, and as you can see on the left side with tow haul mode on, the shifts last just a little bit longer, just to give you that little extra torque when you're towing that trailer behind you. And one thing to keep in mind, the heavier the trailer is, the more exaggerated this difference in shifting is gonna be. So I think that little run up the hill there was pretty definitive that when I was in tow haul mode, the gears held a lot longer and I think it actually gave me more power, which would make sense, higher RPM, more torque, more power. Hopefully you guys can see um, that there is quite a bit of difference. I think that was pretty night and day. Next up, we're just gonna drive down the highway here and we're just gonna see um, how the overdrive kick out works. Um, and how tow haul mode really doesn't like to put this truck in overdrive at all. Um, so we'll go do that right now. All right, so we are in tow haul mode, just cruising down the road. And what I wanna show you guys is how this truck kicks you out of overdrive or doesn't let you go into overdrive gears um, because it wants to keep that one-to-one -one uh, ratio to keep that constant torque flow uh, pretty high. So um, as you can see how this works right here is I'm in sixth gear but the white number is the gear I've commanded. So I've commanded to upshift but the truck is not going to let me. It's going to keep me in sixth gear. Now we're going up a little ridge here so I bet you it's going to downshift and then boom see see how we're in five now at the uh, the darker number. So I've still commanded for seventh gear, but the truck has told me that's not gonna happen uh, because it needs the torque to help push this trailer behind me up the hill. All right, so we're going downhill. It will not let me go into seventh gear, which is an overdrive. I pop out of tow haul mode and boom, gives me seventh gear. Let's see if it gives me eighth gear. Yeah, so now we're in eighth gear, which is a, a big overdrive gear. But if I turn tow haul mode back on, bumps me right back down to seventh gear because it does not want to allow me to be in eighth gear and then eventually sixth gear. Um, so that's what I mean how tow haul mode um, does not want you to be in overdrive at all. Um, <laughs> which is probably a good thing because like I've said earlier in the video, uh, sixth gear is your one to one gear ratio, which is great for just constant torque flow down the drive line. All right, unfortunately, I don't think I can test out um, or at least give you guys a proper, you know, well thought out engine braking test with what I have right now. I don't think the trailer is heavy enough and I just don't have big enough slopes available to me. I was just out there just kind of messing around down some hills and like I couldn't notice any difference. So I figured I might as well not waste anyone's time. Um, I just don't think I can test that. But people say it's true online, so it must be true. Um, and I'm gonna stick to my story. Anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap up the video for today. As always, I hope you liked it. Hope you liked my truck, working hard. She's a workhorse. Um, if you did, maybe think about hitting that thumbs up button. And if you like stuff like this, maybe think about sticking around and hitting that subscribe button. We'd love to have you guys on board. Anyways, nothing me rambling on. 
we will see you guys in the next freaking video